Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Shelly almost got the steal. How about Clark? Oh, she is so smooth. ESPN has hailed Caitlin Clark as the best offensive women's college player since Diana Taurasi, and experts are already calling her the new generational talent set to dominate the WNBA. Fans believe she'll be the most transformative woman in basketball history. One thing is clear. When people talk about Caitlin Clark, no one is indifferent. Despite already being the most popular player in league history, there's a lot more politics surrounding Caitlin Clark than actual basketball highlights. It's surprising because she's someone who prefers to focus solely on the game. Yet, this hasn't stopped the media, players, and coaches within the WNBA from seemingly trying to turn her into a political pawn. This move is dangerous and could threaten the league's chances of inspiring a new generation of fans. While on the surface, these might seem like just silly headlines, the stakes are incredibly high. Make no mistake, if this political assault on Caitlin Clark continues, it could cost the WNBA its chance to grow. Instead of being a league struggling to turn a profit, it could become one that truly competes with the men's leagues. Maybe even far greater than the most optimistic forecast thus far, Caitlin Clark is not only destined to contend for the title of the best player in WNBA history, but she's also striving to be the greatest athlete in the history of women's sports. But what exactly could she achieve during her career from her position of massive talent, and what are the aspirations for one of the top prospects in the world? To understand this, we have to go back to 2002 when Caitlin Clark was born in Iowa. Back then, everything was different. Women's sports hadn't exploded yet, and prep programs for girls weren't as developed as they are today. That's why Brent Clark, Caitlin's father, had to enroll his daughter in boys' recreational leagues when she was just five years old. At that time, basketball was just another sport for her. In addition to basketball, she played softball, volleyball, soccer, tennis, and golf. Sports are like languages. The more you learn, the easier it is to pick up a new one. This is probably why Clark is so elite in many aspects of her game. Her background in different sports has made her view basketball from a unique perspective, and that is truly special. Nonetheless, Caitlin fell in love with the orange ball. A loyal Minnesota Lynx fan, she grew up idolizing Maya Moore. Her obsession with the WNBA was so intense that her father Brent would drive three and a half hours to take her to Lynx games. What neither of them knew at the time was that Caitlin's arrival in professional basketball would be just as anticipated as that of her idol. From the time Caitlin Clark started playing varsity basketball for Dowling Catholic School, she made an immediate impact. During her freshman year, she averaged 15.3 points, 4.7 assists, and 2.3 steals per game competing against much older girls. But it was in her sophomore year that she evolved into the ferocious scorer we know today. She averaged 27.1 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2.3 steals per game, leading Dowling to a 20-4 record during the regular season. Unfortunately, their season ended with an untimely elimination in the Class 5A All-Star quarterfinals. However, her junior year was when Caitlin truly shined. She had the best game of her high school career, scoring an astounding 60 of her team's 90 points in a win over Mason City High School. She also broke the state record for most three-pointers in a game with 13. Her scoring average soared to 32.6 points per game, earning her the Gatorade Player of the Year award for the first time. This video is sponsored by Soccer Ataz. Are you looking for high-quality NBA jersey to show your support for your favorite team? Then check out Soccer at Toss, where you will find a wide selection of quality jerseys. Get $5 cash coupon by clicking the link in the description to sign up. And when at checkout, use 10% discount code TFC. During her senior year, she led the state of Iowa in scoring for the second consecutive year and was again named the best player in the state. Colleges closely watched her progress, but the COVID pandemic prevented her from playing in the McDonald's All-American and Jordan brand classic games she was invited to. Remarkably, until her sophomore year, Caitlin continued to play soccer on the varsity team, scoring 23 goals in just 8 games as a freshman. This versatility speaks volumes about her athletic prowess. 
Colleges had been interested in Caitlin for a long time, with Missouri State offering her a spot when she was just a 7th grader. By the end of her high school career, she was ranked as the 4th best player in her class by ESPN, with a grade of 98. Evaluating all her offers, Caitlin chose to attend Iowa, where the Hawkeyes needed a replacement for Kathleen Doyle. Caitlin quickly became the starting point guard, averaging 26.6 points, 5.9 rebounds, and 7.1 assists per game in her freshman season. Her 41% shooting from long range on 9.5 attempts per game helped her earn the unanimous selection as Big Ten Freshman of the Year. In her sophomore year, Caitlin became the fastest Big Ten player to reach 1,000 career points. She did it in style, scoring 44 points and dishing out 8 assists in a win over Evansville. Two weeks later, she recorded back-to-back -back triple doubles with 31 points, 10 rebounds, then 10 assists, followed by 35 points, 13 rebounds, and 11 assists. These performances made her the first player in NCAA history, men or women, to record consecutive 30-point triple doubles. She was named Big Ten Player of the Year, though Iowa suffered a disappointing upset against Creighton in the NCAA tournament. Determined to achieve more in her junior year, Caitlin broke the Big Ten record for triple doubles and became the fastest Division I women's player to reach 2,000 career points, surpassing Elena Del Don. She also broke the NCAA tournament record for assists with 60. Caitlin led Iowa to the finals of the NCAA tournament, facing LSU and Angel Reese. Although LSU won, Caitlin's efforts were phenomenal. This season, Caitlin has once again reached new heights, averaging 31.9 points, 7.3 rebounds, and 8.9 assists per game. She broke Pete Maravich's scoring record, averaging 44 points per game in his three seasons at Louisiana State, a record that stood for 54 years. Caitlin also broke the record for the most three-pointers in a single season in Division I, surpassing Steph Curry's record. Her game against Michigan, with 49 points and 13 assists, showcased her ability to produce 79 of her team's 106 points, setting another record. Despite her individual greatness, Caitlin still has much to prove collectively. Losing in the finals to LSU has raised expectations, and she aims to end her college career with a win in the NCAA tournament. Announcing in February that she'll enter the WNBA, Caitlin is already one of the most famous athletes in the world without even stepping into professional basketball. Her consistency and ability to dominate are unmatched. She can run the entire offense, generating plays for herself and her teammates, making her a rock for the Hawkeyes. Caitlin's influence goes beyond performance. She's changing the perception of what a good shot is in women's basketball. Her shot selection, often seen as risky, has proven effective, much like Stephen Curry's. Caitlin's potential to transcend the sport is immense. Her aura, creativity, and character create an explosive mix that can change both offensive and defensive systems in the game. With her social media presence and market reach, Caitlin is poised to transform the WNBA and women's basketball, much like the 90s transformed the NBA. Her incredible expectations come with great pressure, but Caitlin has consistently exceeded expectations throughout her career. Caitlin Clark's story is an inspiration to all of us because she shows that it is possible to overcome adversity and achieve your dreams. She has demonstrated incredible resilience and determination throughout her career, making her a true role model for many. Caitlin's journey is not just about her remarkable talent and achievements on the court, but also about her ability to rise above challenges and set a powerful example for others. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next one.